Hi everyone, this is Will with Geeks.com and this is our Geektopia Spy Clock Setup Tutorial. When setting up the spy camera clock, the first thing we need to do is download the P2P Live Cam software. And you can download that from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. The next step is to plug the USB power in and power the camera on. Once that step is complete, we need to wait a full three minutes for the camera to boot. Once the camera is done booting, you should see an open Wi-Fi access point that looks like the access point that we've highlighted here in red. Connect to that access point. Once connected, open the P2P LiveCam app and tap the magnifying glass icon which we have highlighted here in red. On the next screen, you should see the camera listed as a new device. Tap that device. On the next screen, leave all the information as it is and tap the OK button and it will take you back to the main screen and now show the camera as online. On the main screen, tap the gear icon that we have highlighted here in red. Now the settings menu will appear and we want to select advanced config as highlighted in red. On the following menu we want to select Wi-Fi config. On the Wi-Fi config screen, tap the SSID drop down box and select the name of your wireless access point. Next, enter your Wi-Fi password in the password box and click OK. At this point, you will receive a message indicating that the camera is rebooting. It will take a full three minutes to reboot. During this time, please ensure that your smartphone or tablet is reconnected to your wireless network. After the camera has rebooted, the main screen of the P2P Live Cam app should show the camera as online as well as a thumbnail picture of what the camera is viewing. Tap the camera from the main menu to go to a live video feed. At this point, the app will prompt you to change the password for the camera. I'm going to skip this step for the video, but feel free to perform it on your own. Congratulations, you've successfully set up your Geektopia spy clock and it is now ready to use.